What does your email signature look like? You don't have one? Hi, I'm Hadass and welcome to Tip Talk. In this episode, I'd like to show you how easily you can create your own email signature. Let's go ahead. In this episode, I'd like to show you how easy it is to create your own email signature in only a few minutes. Let's go to create a design and click on the plus sign custom size. We are going to define our email signature as 600 pixels by 200. Let's create a new design. And what should your signature contain? Well, obviously your name, your position or title, the organization you work for, contact information such as your phone number, your email, social media information, and of course your logo or photo or both. So let's go ahead and do this. I'll quickly just design something. Now you can use the elements to add some elements to make your contact information more visible. Now if I want to make sure that the size of my elements is the same for each element, once I drag it, you can see that this is 30 by 30. Let's go ahead and make this 23 by 23 and then I'll just go here and stretch it until I reach 23 over 23. So now they're exactly the same size. Okay, and now I can either add my photo or my logo. So I can either do this or maybe just add the logo. Now, this is a very simple email signature. If you would like the signature to be clickable, and so once people click on it, they are redirected anywhere you'd like, you can do this, but then this image will be able to contain only one link since it is only one image. If you would like to add some social media icons and then have them be clickable, each one to a different social media address, then what you will have to do is the next thing. Let's just download this as a PNG. So once you have this, I'm just going back and opening a new document. And this time I'm going to define this as a 50 by 50. This is going to be a square shape. And what I'm going to do right now is add my social media icons. Okay, now they are all the same size and what I want to do is to download them as a PNG. Now I'm going to select all pages. Now, as you can see, they don't have names. They are automatically named page one, page two, page three. So I'm just going to change their names. So once they're downloaded, it'll be easier for me to recognize them. So I'm just gonna call this Facebook and this is gonna be Instagram and this is gonna be YouTube. So now I'm just going to click on download PNG, select all pages, done and download. So now once I go to Gmail or Outlook, I can upload the signature as one image and then add each of these icons as a separate image. And then I just add the links to each icon. Then each one of them will be clickable. I will demonstrate this on my Gmail. I go to my settings, I go to general, and then I scroll down to signature. Then I click on plus create new. I give this a name. Click on create. And then you can add a photo. I'll just click here, upload it from my desktop. I just right click and let's say I want this medium size. Okay, so this is what you'd want to do in case that you want each and every icon to be clickable to a different link. But if you don't want to have these, you can just delete them 
and have your signature plain and simple. To make your signature clickable, all you have to do is go here to the link tab, click on that, and then add the URL to the address that you want people to be redirected to. And then one last important thing that you need to do is just scroll down and make sure your signature defaults are set to the name of the signature that we just gave. And then scroll down, click on Save Changes, and let's see what it looks like when we compose a new email. And there you go. You have your signature, and once you click on it, this is where your audience will be redirected. That's it. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode and we'd really love to see your email signature. So feel free to share it with us in the comments below. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Wow. Thank you Adas for these precious tips and thank you for watching this video until the end. I have two playlists right here for those of you who want to go a bit deeper and keep learning. This one right here is a collection of step-by-step -step Canva tutorials. And this one gathers all of our Canva Space webinar recordings where Canva experts teach about all sorts of topics.